What's going on guys? It's Jimmy here with your second stimulus check update and we have some good news and some bad news for you guys today regarding the second stimulus check. We're going to get through all the information here in just a quick couple minutes. Also, stay to the end of the video. I'm going to tell you how we're donating $250 to viewers and I'm going to discuss all the details of that in the end of the video. Also, don't forget to smash the like button for us down below. My wife and I do hours of research for you guys every single day so we can bring you the up-to-date current stimulus check news as soon as possible. And don't forget to click the subscribe button down below if you haven't subscribed yet. This way you won't miss out on new videos coming out. Okay, first up, I'm gonna go through the good news, then I'm gonna go through the bad news. We have a big breaking news story regarding stimulus package developing right now as I speak. And that is, even though the Democrats were against this at first, there's talks that there's going to be a smaller stimulus package passed or agreed upon here within the next day or so by the Senate Republicans. The Republicans are going to announce a new stimulus package as early as tonight, there's also talks that the Democrats might be releasing their own package also within the next 24 hours. This is, this is big news because they're going to probably put in this bill everything that they have agreed upon already. And there's talks that they're going to include $10 billion for the post office. That's good news because that gets that one big disagreement between the Republicans and the Democrats out of the way that leaves one less thing for them to not agree upon and there's also talks that there's going to be a stimulus check in there an unemployment extension a more permanent extension and also money for small business and small business owners people with side hustles through PPP and PPE money. So this is really good news because this will probably get all the things they agree upon out of the way. Both the Republicans and the Democrats want a check to Americans, unemployment extension, and money for the post office, which the Republicans didn't want money for the post office last week. And that's why we do these daily updates because this literally changes by the day. Getting the post office bill out of the way is a good thing because it's been one of the two issues holding up the stimulus package, which included a $1,200 stimulus check. So we're going to have to see what are they going to put in this new bill? Are they going to have a more permanent unemployment extension? And if so, how much is it going to be? Are they going to have checks to Americans? Is it going to be $1,200? Is it going to include all dependents? How much money is the de money for dependents going to be? We also have some new news from Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin, who is one of the two Republican negotiators to get this next stimulus check and stimulus package out, including that he said that Americans will begin to see the $1,200 checks inside of three weeks. He said that Americans that have their direct deposit information with the IRS could be receiving their money within three weeks. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with this smaller stimulus package deal and everything they're going to include on it. If they introduce all the details of that today, I may have a breaking news story for you guys coming out later today, most likely at my 8 p.m. time slot that I sometimes publish videos on. So stay tuned. If I have a new information coming out and it's big news, I will publish a video at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for you guys. Okay, now let's get to the bad news and I'm, I'm just going to give it to you. You know that uh, three to $400 per week unemployment extension that the president signed and I have this website here that is already showing which uh, states have already sent it out. Arizona is the only one I think currently that is sending it out as of right now, the $300. The reason it's $300 is because the extra $100 to make it $400 is not being paid by any of the states. So we're going to have new information coming out. I'll update you guys on that when that comes out. And a bunch of these states that are pending here, as you can see here. Okay. Well, apparently there's bad news about this. And that is FEMA is saying that they only have enough money for three weeks for this $300 per week for unemployment. 
FEMA said that after the three weeks that they will review additional funding on a week-by-week basis. FEMA issued guidance about the lost wages assistance payment created by the president by Presidential Executive Memorandum on August 8th, and it's not great news. FEMA said that the states that applied for the unemployment benefit program would be issued a grant for just three weeks of benefits. Subsequent weeks would be approved on a weekly basis to make sure there are enough funds for other states. So a couple things that I want to mention here. If this new bill that they might be introducing today comes out and they have a more permanent extension for the unemployment money where it's not coming from FEMA, it's actually going to be passed through Congress and the money is allocated from Congress for that then it won't be coming from FEMA and it won't be coming from the Disaster Relief Fund. It won't be coming from these other funds that have been set up for disasters like the pandemic we're in right now. You know, that's how the president kind of got away with giving you guys these, this temporary money until they can pass a more permanent order through a stimulus package. That's why issues like the post office and money for states and cities that are holding up the big stimulus package for unemployment and for the stimulus check which will probably be $1,200 and money for dependents. That's why these other issues are so important because they, they have to put these issues in with the stimulus package because they're just refusing to do a deal on a smaller stimulus package with all the things they've agreed upon, which they may be doing in this new announcement they're going to be making today. Up until today, they weren't willing to do that at all. The Democrats especially were 100% against that because they want leverage to put other things in the bill that they want to get passed as their agenda. The Republicans have their own agenda too, so it's not like I'm bashing on the Democrats, okay? But the Democrats don't want to do a piecemeal deal, and the Republicans did all this time along. But now because they want to pass this post office bill and the unemployment extension and possibly the checks, it seems like now all of a sudden within the last few hours, they're now willing to do what they call a piecemeal deal or a smaller stimulus package deal and include maybe 10, five or 10 things that they agree upon. And that's why I do these daily updates because this stuff literally changes every single day. At least the president passed the presidential executive memorandums and executive orders to get you guys the temporary unemployment money for the time being. But if for some reason they can't get a smaller deal passed very quickly, the unemployment money, the unemployment boost money may run out within three weeks. Also, I want to mention the $250 that we're donating to viewers. What we're going to do is we're going to have 10 different recipients and we're going to donate $25 to 10 different people. Uh, we, we might even do more of this in the future. All you need to do is comment down below your situation and your PayPal address. And I'm actually going to have them randomly chosen by a little program I have to make it fair for you guys. This way, you know, you don't have to make your situation seem better or worse than it is. I'm just going to donate $250 to 10 different people in the form of $25 for 10 people. And I'm just going to send out the PayPal to you guys. I'm probably going to do that tomorrow. So make your comments now. And this is just our way for... <laughs> my wife, I, and my son, my two-year-old son, Julian, our family, to give a little bit back to you guys. We might be doing this even more in the future. We just want to share the love back with you guys also because we know that these are really tough times. And I mean, I've read through like a thousand comments from you guys. It's just, it's actually, it's, and I really don't even have words for it. It's just, it's terrible how many people are in need right now. And um, I really just don't have words for it. It's just, it's, it's terrible. Okay, so I got my composure back a little bit. I had to pause for a second there. Um, but make sure you guys are subscribed. Make sure you've smashed the like button for us. We're gonna hopefully have some good news for you guys here very soon about this new stimulus package and what it may include, a check on employment. So make sure you're subscribed and I will keep you guys updated. 
And this top video you can click on, it's my newest stimulus check video, you can watch that next. And this bottom video is about mail-in voting problems. And this video teaches you how to start a business selling products on Amazon. I have students that have replaced their entire nine to five income by selling products on Amazon, and I teach people how to do that. You can click on one of those to watch them next. Thanks, and I will see you in the next video.